Are you ready to imagine a jet engine that could propel an aircraft faster than any typical engine, taking it to the edge of the atmosphere, all without any fossil combustion and at far lower cost? That's exactly what an electricity-powered plasma jet engine should be able to do. Today, we're going to take a look at how an electric plasma jet engine works and how it can help humanity advance into the future. Forget about fuel-based jet engines, as we're on the verge of having an aircraft technology that can fly from the ground up to the edge of space using air and electricity alone. So let's check out how it works. And for this, we have to have the basic idea of a conventional jet engine's working. A conventional jet engine ignites the mixture of compressed air and fuel, flinging the result out the back to gain propulsion. A plasma jet engine, on the contrary, makes use of electricity to generate an electromagnetic field in an ionization chamber. This electromagnetic field is then used to compress and excite a gas, such as air, argon, and xenon to such an extent that it turns into plasma, which blasts out a quartz tube. Plasma thrusters in turn employ this plasma to power the jet engine electrically. Temperatures of plasma so created could exceed 1000 degrees Celsius, equivalent to that found inside any fusion reactor or core of a star. Let's slow down here a bit to take a quick look at plasma itself. It's an ionized gas form when a significant amount of extra energy is infused at higher temperatures to tear apart the electrons from atoms or molecules allowing both positively charged ions and negatively charged electrons to coexist. Before getting into further discussion, let me highlight something very important. When compared to conventional jet engines, plasma jet engines are low on expenses and are capable to generate more power over a longer period. Therefore, as speculated by researchers, passenger jets can travel faster, cheaper, and farther using these plasma jet engines. Plasma jet engines have been stuck in the lab for the past decade or so, and most of the research research on them has just been limited to the idea of propelling satellites once in space. But the researchers from the Technical University of Berlin are now seeking to put the notion into real-world practice, specifically flying up to the edge of space. Berkant Goxel is leading the group of researchers working on this project. We want to develop a system that can operate above an altitude of 30 kilometers where standard jet engines cannot go. He says and claims to be the first team to produce rapid and powerful plasma jets at the ground level reaching up to 20 kilometers a second, and now the passengers could be sent to the edge of space and beyond. In short, this group of researchers is now up to using plasma engine in a passenger jet, as in, they are aspired to develop something that could fly at higher altitudes but still take off and land on Earth. Plasma jet engines are generally designed to operate in a vacuum or at low pressures found high in the atmosphere where a gas supply is required. However, Goxel's team has already tested one that can work on air at one altitude atmospheric pressure by making use of pulse detonation technique where a rapid stream of nanosecond long electric discharges fires up the propulsion mixture. Even though the technology appears to be promising, but it is still a long way from being mass produced and applied in the real world to propel a plane. The main challenge was to develop an air breathing plasma propulsion engine capable of both takeoff and high altitude flight at the same time. The team has just managed to test many plasma thrusters, say 80 millimeters in length for a start and a commercial airliner would need some 10,000 of them to fly, making the current design too complex and infeasible for the aircraft of that great size. Thus, Goxil's team anticipates just focus on smaller planes and airships for the time being, and is intended to use up 1,000 thrusters to mobilize smaller planes. The major issue that plasma jet engine technology faces are the need for electricity, as a huge amount of electric power is required to generate and sustain the plasma. The simple approach appears to be to pack enough batteries to provide the power source. However, to be a viable option, the batteries must be lightweight and small in size. More batteries means more weight, which entails the use of even more thrusters to power the engine and fitting so many thrusters to an aircraft is not possible. The power supply is also a barrier to making the individual thrusters bigger. Doing so would reduce the number needed to propel a plane, but each would require more power. Let's talk about the way out now. Solar energy and compact fusion reactors could be worthy solutions. Although, they still require significant development to be implemented until these feasible alternatives reach breakthroughs, the team at the Technical University of Berlin is looking into hybrid planes and intends to bridge the power gap with pulse detonation combustion engines or rockets used in combination with their plasma engine. Well, commercial travel as we know it can be revolutionized by the deployment of plasma jet engines once successful. The new plasma jet engine, like its younger brother the ion propulsion engine, is something we are looking forward to. This would really 
to be a significant step towards developing a fully electric engine, implying that electric airplanes are no longer a long way off to become a new normal. What do you think about the future of this technology? Are these electric plasma jet engines going to be a new normal? Let us know in the comments.